Good evening, everybody. Take a look outside of what we've got. The rain showers have been around all day long and they're moving in from the south and southeast. It appears with the whole system moving in from the bottom left hand side of the screen from where I'm walking and that's an area of low pressure. This time of year we were talking at the top of the show that heavy snow out in the central plains. Reason is we've got warm air that's close. We've got the seasons trying to get warm, so there's a lot of moisture available. So that dense, heavy snow is what they've seen. We've had some decent rainfall amounts. Matter of fact, some pretty steady rain in Southern Sullivan, Knox, Lawrence and Richland counties right now. Steady rain showers throughout Northern Clay, Owen Green, Davies and Martin counties at this hour with snow just out to our west going to try to move in late tonight and tomorrow. It's 41 in Rockville, 43 in Terre Haute. Kind of too warm to snow right now, in all honesty. 49 in Robinson, 43 in Casey, and that's why this is a state of rain event. We talked about this a little bit yesterday, but as I showed you before the commercial break, 1.17 inches of rain is what I measured here in Terre Haute and the Wabash, as well as the White River, touch of the Embra River over in Illinois. We've got flood warnings that will start to take effect tomorrow night because, again, it's going to continue to rain going to rain upstream of these out of Indianapolis, out of Lafayette, and again out around Effingham for all of our local rivers. And what that does is that'll get our river stages from about four feet in Terre Haute right now on the Wabash, going to jump it up over flood stage of 14 by tomorrow afternoon, and that'll last through the weekend. So just be aware, local river streams and creeks, they're going to be coming up coming up in a hurry as well. There's your snow showers out west Missouri just getting hammered today, but they knew that was coming. That's exactly what happened down in Oklahoma yesterday. Portions of Arkansas as well. We've got the rain. Now, we've had a lot of rain today. I mean, over an inch in one day, that's something we haven't seen in a couple of years, at least steady, and that's all right for us. There's snow on the back side of this, and this is all going to wrap back around. But here's the real trick. Watch what Futurecast does with this. 8 o'clock tonight keeps it rain. We'll get this clock going. We'll put it after midnight. Stop things at about 4 a.m. This is when we look to see the temperatures get cold enough higher up, not so much on the surface, but higher up, to see this change over to some snow. And we're going to get a wintry mix from about 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow. Temperatures warm back up during the day. We get this back into mainly a rain event at times during the day tomorrow. And then as temperatures cool back off tomorrow night, we get this to change back over to a snow event after about 10 o'clock. So it's going to be tricky, a very tricky forecast over the next 48 hours where we're going to see a wintry mix as well as snow moving in here. And we're actually going to see a chance for some snow accumulation out of this. Here you go, 31 tonight, wintry mix, therefore some slick spots developing. About an inch of accumulation through the day tomorrow of light snow. Wintry mix mixed in with that, so it's not necessarily a fun event at 36 degrees. Total snow one to two inches by tomorrow night, and that'll get us into Thursday morning. So we've got an interesting week here. The weekend's quiet. You can see Saturday and Sunday, and those numbers are below average. Average has about 46, so we're running about 10 degrees below average. And boy, February is going to go out with a little bit of a bang here where we're going to keep things a bit slick tonight. Oftentimes through the day tomorrow and then again tomorrow night, Susie, we're of the time of year where that 32 degree mark is, is very touchy for us right now and that's why we're getting this wintry mix so often.